In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can stop your knees from hurting when you do long sim racing sessions. Now, keep in mind, I'm not a doctor, so what I say in this video could actually permanently cripple you. If you do have a real knee, knee issue or discomfort, speak to an actual qualified professional rather than getting your advice from an idiot on YouTube. But this is what I do to stop my knees from hurting. So it might help some of you in the meantime. Let's get on with the video. This video is sponsored by the 3DFX Voodoo 2 graphics card. 8 megabytes of RAM, 100 megahertz of processing power, 800 by 600 maximum supporting resolution, SLI for double the speed. Your PC won't ever need more power. The Voodoo 2! No longer available. As you guys know, I often do really long sim racing live streams, which unfortunately has caused permanent brain damage. But what it hasn't done is cause permanent knee damage. And that's because I do the following thing. And to demonstrate the following thing, we're going to go to Kneecam 2021, which sounds like a mass market Japanese pocket camera from, from the 90s, but it's not. It's just a webcam pointed at my feet and my uh, pedal tray on my sim rig. So, as you can see there, we've got the Mecha Cup 1 pedals with its glorious 200 kilogram load cell, which is not why well, I don't use 200 kilograms. I, I use about 50 kilograms of pressure with it. Um, and what you can see is that for the most part, when I've got my foot on the brake pedal uh, and I'm sat in my normal driving position, my leg, my braking leg is in line with the brake pedal. What this means is that when I'm putting force and brake load on the brake, the force is going straight up my leg, straight through the knee and straight up to my, to my hips. And the key thing is to not have anything at an angle. So if I was to have my brake further over here, such that my leg is then going at this angle towards my knee, what would happen is when I put the force down here, it's then pushing force up my leg at an angle and then onto the knee and patella at an angle uh, and then going into my my leg and hip and my upper leg and hip. And this arrangement of forces is not what your legs really evolve to put up with. So what I found with general ergonomics, again, I'm not a professional, I don't know what I'm talking about here, but what I've personally found is if you put your body in situations that are similar to other situations that your body evolved in, i.e., you know, how you, you would use your body when walking around picking up berries, nuts and mushrooms from fields and what have you millions of years ago or hundreds of thousands of years ago, uh, your body t typically responds quite well to that. Whereas if you put your body in situations which have just arisen in the last 50 years, thanks to the invention of torture devices known as driving simulators, then you will have pain and problems. Now, there is some uh, additional things to say about this though that are important to note. So if you left foot brake, then obviously having your brake pedal over to the left more and in line will work really nice. But if you right foot brake predominantly and you're doing um, heel and toeing a lot, then if you've moved your brake pedal really far to the left, then obviously your right foot is now having to <laughs> go at a right crazy angle. And though you won't get likely get irritation in your left knee, your right knee is going to hate you. So in a sense, it can often be a compromise between where you place your brake pedal um, uh, and depending on which foot you do more of your braking with. A solution to that is, of course, using the Gamer Muscle ginormous brake <laughs> break, uh, uh, faceplate, which I've not got on these pedals, and that gives you a lot more leeway as to where you can push, where you can put your foot, and uh, if you're using your right foot for, uh, you know, heel and tone and stuff. Um, but yeah, the, the main thing, the main takeaway from this is if you don't want knee pain, make sure that your legs are as straight as possible on your on your pedals. If you don't have individual pedals or a nice pedal tray, such as those of us with fancy sim rigs and fancy pedals, you know, say you're using Club Sport V3s, 
or um, I don't know, like uh, Logitech pedals, then you know you're probably just going to have to move the pedals and, and compromise to mostly the, the brake pedal and getting that in line with things. Now, separate to having your legs as straight as possible, obviously you also have the the height aspect of, of your um, feet on the pedals. Now, if you're sat in an office chair, um, you, you're more likely to be dangling down on the pedals, um, and you'll be you know you'll be pushing down using your ankle more than your knee. Again, it's going to depend on your own personal knee health <laughs> and your arrangement. But what if you are getting knee pain when you're sat using like your Logitech G20 G293 pedals, uh, or you're using Fanatec pedals with a with an office chair? It might be worth moving the pedals further back uh, away from you and lowering your chair down and maybe angling the back of the chair back a little bit so that again you're getting more of a straighter situation and you're not you're not putting obtuse angles of pressure onto your knee and other joints that's that's the main thing to avoid is putting weird angles on your on your limbs that you wouldn't normally experience in normal life but uh, you know that is pretty much it for Elimination of knee pain. It's been an emotional video and uh, probably life changing. Uh, unironically, not having knee pain is actually very quite nice uh, when you do lots of sim racing. So getting it set up nice and decent is a, is a good thing to do. That is it though. I mean, if you found this useful, uh, enjoyable, and uh, mildly depressing great that's what we're here for click the subscribe button click the like button type in the comments what you find to be useful for you for your comfort maybe other people can learn from it and again i'm not a doctor uh, this could all be a lie don't trust youtubers don't trust them on anything i would recommend but uh, until the next one happy tea drinking happy sim racing happy knees and goodbye, everybody.